Hey there, Tapas Fleming here, tatlife.com. Today, I'd like to tell you how to change a repeating pattern that's negative in your life. First of all, you're probably going to be thinking something like, oh my gosh, here it is again. So what you're noticing is that it isn't just how you feel in a certain situation or um, how people talk to you, it's, or just your own private thoughts and um, feelings, sensations in your body. It's, it's your interactions actually with people. It's the way things roll out for you um, that you don't like, for instance. Uh, every time I get in a relationship, an intimate relationship with someone, they leave me. Or every time I try to accomplish um, a goal, an exercise goal in my life, I'm fine for 10 days and I start to feel like, hey, everything's getting better. I think I'll celebrate and sleep in or whatever the deal is that crashes your movement ahead for being happy in the way you want to be happy. So there's these activities and you're experiencing, it's not just all inside, it's manifesting outside. So what you can do is take everything you notice, like this is what I want and then this is what happens. This is how I feel when it happens. These are my thoughts that go on when I start off and then part way along the way. These are the thoughts that come to me. And when it happens, I feel crushed in my heart, for example, or whatever it is. So you just take the big, um, everything you notice in all those different ways and throw it into the TAT pot, which means simply the place that you're putting everything that you want to work on in this session. So then what you do is you do the whole TAT process, being sure to include ancestors because some of those big repeating patterns actually come from your ancestors. They're not even from things you did or experienced in this life. They're just things that ancestors didn't heal up that somehow end up with you. So as you're making the intention, you really include, yep, this is for all my family, all my ancestors. So then you go through the whole process and then you just allow your attention to drift in that whole pattern again and notice what seems to you in the moment to be unfinished, like, ah, yeah, there's this one thought that just keeps dragging me down, like maybe this will never change. It's been this way my whole life. So you just take that thought and put it in the pot and anything else that remains and do TAT again. You don't want to be doing the TAT pose more than 20 minutes in a day, max. So if you've already reached that limit, just make a list and do it again another day and you just keep going until you notice that there's nothing disturbed or upset that comes up for you and that uh, when you try and do that thing it actually goes through for you there are no hitches there's no repeating pattern you meet someone it works out or you come up with your exercise plan and you actually do it day after day after day and you get to where you want to go. So uh, there you go. Thank you for listening. I hope this helps you out a whole bunch and see you next time.